Hi everyone. Back again with the top 10 list in the world, they may not be able to type out pithy messages on Twitter, and they're definitely not networking online, but you'll be surprised at exactly how social certain animals are. Check out these animals that might have more of a social network than you. Here are the top 10 animals with surprisingly smart social lives. Number 10. Penguins get in sync. Not only do emperor penguins huddle together for warmth, but they also make very specific, synchronized movements that further the effort to retain heat. Roughly every 30 to 60 seconds, all of the penguins in one row of the huddle move anywhere from 2 to 4 inches in the same direction. The penguins in the next row copy the movement soon after, over and over until the whole huddle has completed the tiny maneuver. Researchers theorize that keeping the huddle in constant motion results in a denser, thus warmer, packing, and also keeps the penguins blood circulation flowing. Emperor penguins face freezing winds that blow as fast as 124 miles per hour in an icy landscape that can be as cold as 58 degrees below zero. This is why they huddle together against the harsh weather. Together, their bodies can raise the temperature within two hours to as high as 98.6 degrees. If you watch this huddle of shuffling penguins close enough and long enough, you will see distinct waves of motion emerge through the feathered masses as one penguin takes a step and the rest follow. This is a way of maintaining order. Number 9. Spiders know that millions of legs are better than eight. What's more terrifying than the thought of thousands, or millions, of spiders working together toward one common goal? Not much, but few things are as brilliant, either. Certain species of spiders called, social spiders, act in unison to create massive webs that catch way more prey than one little web would ever catch on its own. In 2007, spiders spun webs that spanned 200 yards in a Texas park. It was later determined that more than 12 families of spiders had participated in building the massive trap. A social spider is a spider species whose individuals form relatively long-lasting aggregations. Whereas most spiders are solitary and even aggressive toward other members of their own species, some hundreds of species in several families show a tendency to live in groups, often referred to as colonies. Most species of social spiders live in the tropical regions of the world where size and density of their prey insects is highest. But several species reach into the eastern United States and other temperate areas. By building a communal web, it is thought that the spiders approximately maximize total biomass capture per spider. Having a larger web and multiple spiders to work together to subdue prey allows them to prey on larger organisms than would be possible if they led a solitary existence. The colonies can grow large enough to take down birds and bats, as well as very large insects. Number 8. Cuttlefish show their true colors. Cuttlefish or cuttles are marine mollusks of the order Sepiada. They belong to the class Cephalopoda which also includes squid, octopuses, and nautiluses. Cuttlefish have a unique internal shell, the cuttlebone, which is used for control of buoyancy. Cuttlefish have large, W-shaped pupils, eight arms, and two tentacles furnished with denticulated suckers, with which they secure their prey. They generally range in size from 15 to 25 centimeters, 6 to 10 in, with the largest species, the giant cuttlefish, Sepia apama, reaching 50 centimeters, 20 in, in mantle length and over 10.5 kilograms 23 pounds in mass. Cuttlefish eat small mollusks, crabs, shrimp, fish, octopus, worms, and other cuttlefish. Their predators include dolphins, sharks, fish, seals, seabirds, and other cuttlefish. The typical life expectancy of a cuttlefish is about one to two years. Studies are said to indicate cuttlefish to be among the most intelligent invertebrates. Cuttlefish also have one of the largest brain-to-body size ratios of all invertebrates. It's pretty normal for us to be selective about which part of ourselves we want to reveal. We show one side to a boss, for instance, and another to a best friend. But cuttlefish can literally split their bodies into different patterns to accomplish different things at the same time. One half of its body may be designed to attract a mate, while the other half is a completely different design to conceal itself from predators. They can even use certain colors to assert dominance in social situations, showing that they're aware of social hierarchies and structures. Number 7. Elephants talk to each other, sometimes in secret tones. 
Not only do elephants communicate with each other, sometimes they do it in tones humans can't even hear. After years of observing elephants in the wild, researchers have found that elephants use more than 70 kinds of vocal sounds and 160 visual and tactile signals, expressions, and gestures. They can mean anything from let's go to help, I'm lost. The latter is often done in a low frequency that will travel for miles through forest, letting the pachyderms connect without alerting other animals to their presence. For African elephants, calls range from 15 to 35 Hz with sound pressure levels as high as 117 dB, allowing communication for many kilometers, with a possible maximum range of around 10 kilometers. Elephants have a wide range of calls and signals for different purposes to secure their defense, warn others of danger, coordinate group movements, reconcile differences, attract mates, reinforce family bonds, and announce their needs and desires. They are highly intelligent animals with complex emotions, feelings, compassion, and self-awareness. Elephants are one of very few species to recognize themselves in a mirror. The gestation period of an elephant is 22 months. That's almost two years, the longest pregnancy of any mammal. Number 6. Dolphins feast together. Dolphins are the keystone heroes of the sardine run, acting as orchestrators of feeding events for sardine predators, such as sharks, gannets, and whales. They corral sardines from the main shoal into smaller bait balls for easier feeding. In the ocean, up to six dolphins will team up to herd fish together into small groups called bait balls. Once the fish are crowded together, the dolphins line up to create a wave that drives the fish in toward shore, making them easy prey and an easy lunch. But however important sharing food may be for dolphins, it certainly appears very different from how humans usually handle communal meals. Number 5. Rhesus monkeys starve themselves to protect another. In 1964, researchers placed a pair of rhesus monkeys in a predicament. If one monkey pulled a chain, he received food to eat, but a shock was delivered to the other monkey at the same time. After he figured out what was happening, the monkey in control of the situation refused to pull the chain for 12 days he was literally starving to death before he would hurt his fellow test subject again. The lesson? Monkeys have empathy something even some humans lack. Number 4. Orcas teach their friends how to fish. It's not just old dogs that learn new tricks. Killer whales have been observed picking up new behaviors from one another. Staff at a large sea park observed one of their orcas chewing up the fish chum he was fed. He'd then spit it out onto the surface of the water and wait for a bird to take the bait. While the clueless seagull was snacking, Bamso was the orca. That's pretty smart, but what's more impressive is that the whale taught his tricky ways to at least three other orcas in the same enclosure. Number 3. Coyotes and badgers team up to hunt. Sometimes, Animals will even cross enemy lines to work toward the greater good. For example, coyotes and badgers tag team to create a living hell for their prey, eliminating all but the smallest chance for escape. If the prey is above ground, the coyote chases it. If the prey tries to disappear, the badger takes control. It's a terrible situation for prairie dogs and ground squirrels, but it works out well for both the coyotes and the badgers. Even though they're actually competing for food, it's still a win, they're both able to conserve more energy while taking advantage of each other's hunting skills. Number 2. Female mule deer have each other's backs. The mule deer is a deer indigenous to western North America. It is named for its ears, which are large like those of the mule. Two subspecies of mule deer are grouped into the black-tailed deer. Unlike the related white-tailed deer, which is found throughout most of North America east of the Rocky Mountains and in the valleys of the Rocky Mountains from Idaho and Wyoming northward, mule deer are only found on the western Great Plains, in the Rocky Mountains, in the southwest United States, and on the west coast of North America. Mule deer have also been introduced to Argentina and Kauai, Hawaii. When a female mule deer goes out to graze, she leaves her babies with the other females of the group. If a predator happens by, the other female mule deer will protect all of the nearby fawns, even those belonging to a completely different species of deer, by attacking the bad guy themselves. And you thought you had a good babysitter. Number 1. Cows and cliques are smarter than lone bovines. You already know that cows are typically found in herds, but it's been proven that grouping is actually beneficial to their intelligence. 
Researcher put calves together and tested them on reversal learning, in which they were trained to associate a black or white square with food. Once that had been learned, the researchers switched which color meant food. The clique of calves learned the reverse task much faster than the isolated cows. In another test, an unfamiliar object was placed in the pen with a group of cows. The band of bovines grew tired of the new object much faster than the solo cows did, leading researchers to theorize that socially adept cows assimilate better an important aspect of learning. That's it for this list, we have summarized some animals that are very good at socializing, some of which are quite surprising. Thank you for watching.